to Colourful Chemistry. I'm going to show you today a reaction that uses this beautiful blue solution. It's a reagent called Benedict's solution and it is this lovely blue colour here. What it can do is tell us whether there is a simple sugar or reducing sugar called glucose present in various things really. So I'm going to test this today, I'll show you how it's done and show you all the wonderful colours that we can get um, when there is glucose present. So I've got several things I'm going to test here. We're going to start with a very simple glucose solution. So this is pure glucose here, pure reducing sugar. I'm just going to put some of that in the bottom of this test tube. So there we go, I've got some pure glucose in that one. Now with this experiment, it's always fun to try some real food. So I'm going, I've got some breakfast cereal here, which I'm going to crush up and put into this test tube here. There we go. I'm increasing the surface area by crushing it up there. Ideally, you would create a solution out of these as well and actually try and sort of get it into a liquid form and extract any glucose out of it, but it will do the job as a solid as well. So let's go with that. So we've got pure glucose here. We've got some breakfast cereal here. This one, this third one, I'm going to add some biscuit. So I'm going to crumble up some biscuit here. And while I do this, you might want to be thinking to yourself, having a little prediction. Will it have sugar in it? Will it have glucose in it? It's making a lovely mess, aren't I? Um, right, this one, I'm going to add some liquid um, a squash cordial, just fruit cordial. So here we go, just nice and simple, add a bit of that. Not going to worry too much about the quantities I'm adding. And lastly, in this one, I'm going to add some candied papaya, um, some papaya fruit that has been candied or... Ugh. A bit gluey actually let's just try that there we go so a bit of this quinoa pulse here there we go let's just chuck some of that in there okay excuse the mess once we've got our things we want to test here our specimens our samples to test all we need to do now is add oops, it is, sorry add our benedict solution so here we are here's our benedict solution we have to protect our eyes with this and it's an irritant we don't want to swallow it or get it on our hands so I will add it from this dropper bottle and I'm going to add at least the same volume as I've got of the substance although I'm as I said I'm not being too careful about quantities here now nothing's going to happen straight away this experiment this chemical reaction requires heat so in order to find out whether or not there is um, glucose present, we have to take our samples with the Benedict solution and we need to put them into a hot water bath. That's not the kind of bath that you have a wash in at night. It's the kind of bath that we put chemicals in to keep them at a constant temperature. So I'm going to pop them into a hot water bath at at least 60 degrees for about 10 minutes I'm going to zoom in now so you can see what happens when I've got it in the water bath and let's see what happens. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes in the water bath now. Our Benedict solution, our reagent has given us a good indication of the amount of glucose reducing sugar that's present in these different substances. And the wonderful thing about Benedict solution is it works a bit like a traffic light system. If there's just a little bit of glucose, you get a kind of greeny colour. If it's a bit more glucose, you get a bit of a yellowy orange colour. And if there's loads of glucose, or pure glu glucose as we had with this one, we get what's called a brick red precipitate, this kind of thick orangey brick red substance where the glucose is at the bottom of the test tube there. So this was our pure glucose and you can see we've got that beautiful brick red precipitate at the bottom. Now let's have a look at the other ones. We had, what was this one? This was, oh this was our breakfast cereal. 
So you can see with the breakfast cereal at the bottom there, we've got a bit of brick red precipitate at the bottom and a kind of greeny colour there. So we've got um, a bit of glucose in there. This was our biscuit. And you can see with the biscuit, hold this way you can see, um, you can see with the biscuit, we have got a good bit of dark orange there, brick red precipitate at the bottom, showing quite a bit of glucose in that biscuit. This was the cordial, the fruit cordial. It's got a kind of murky blur colour, hasn't it? Not so colourful, that one, perhaps. Um, but you can see that there's a hint of green, a hint of yellow in there. So it's definitely got some um, glucose present. This one, wow, look at this. This was the papaya, the sort of candied papaya. And you can see that we've got some areas there that have got a really good, strong, reddish orange precipitate in them. So definitely some glucose in there. And then this was the quinoa. Um, it's not showing any sign really of any of those traffic light colors. We've still got that beautiful blue colour from the Benedict solution. Um, so that's showing that that's really not got any glucose in it at all. And there we have it, the wonderful colourful chemistry of Benedict solution. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you again soon. Thank you. Bye.